Get your air balls ready. Welcome to the Greg and Tim Show podcast. Take time to sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Here are your hosts, Greg and Tim. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Welcome show. Back. Three Welcome weeks in back. A row. Two weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row that Two we have in got a row. ditched by Scarlett Johansson. Her management no. called again, said she was unable to This come. is only the and second week in a row. It's been three of four. Right. Yeah. Three of four weeks, yeah. Scarlett Johansson has decided that she, she is too good us. for the Greg and Tim no, show. He, she said it will definitely Scarlet. be next week. Scarlett, what? Come on. I implore you. Yeah. He does implore. I implore he you. very much implore. Think of the children. Yeah. By children, I mean me. The implorium. I just want to talk. Just want to talk. Figure out, like, where you are. We just want to have a conversation. What you've been up to. If anyone's Who seen, is? if anyone's seen Scarlett Johansson. So I want to know these three things. Three, four, maybe five. Who is Scarlett Johansson? Yep. Tell me something. Where, tell where me, is Scarlett Well, <laughs> she'll be here when we ask these questions. Tell me something we wouldn't know about yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. What are your three favorite places in Winnipeg yeah. or Manitoba to yeah. go to? A place she's never been to. If you could have dinner with somebody dead or alive, yeah. who would it be? These sound a lot like the questions we ask all of our guests. What what piece of advice would you What if she messaged us all somebody? of these things? If she's out there. Scarlett, if you're listening, Scarlett, you feel badly about not being on the show for a third week in a row. Like, those are the questions set aside by my you friend. Have a Gregory private plane. Like, just get on the plane, Stewart. Fly here. Yeah. We just want to ask the question. They have direct flights from LA. That's all I'm saying. Direct flights. Yeah, she's flying coach with Scott O'Neill. With <laughs> Scott O'Neill. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Scarlet. <laughs> hey, tell me three things. Which brings me to this special episode of the Greg and Tim this Show. This is a special e- this episode. This is that's not for sure. a regular episode. This not is a, a regular scheduled episode. This is a regularly scheduled This It's Monday. It's here. And if you're not listening on Monday, Monday? where were you all week? Is it Monday? Is it Monday? <laughs> it's not Monday when we record. Oh. But it's Monday when we yeah. put this out. Yeah. And if you weren't here on Monday yeah. listening or watching or watching or both, or just watching and not hearing. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> if they just watch the video and they're like, I want to read their lips. <laughs> and then I literally talk right Have behind the microphone. Have you ever watched yourself? Oh. No, listen, listen. Have you ever watched yourself when you just watch yourself and you're not actually hearing anything? It's just visual. It totally changes everything. Like whether you're singing, whether you're talking, like, and you're just looking at your facial movements and your body movements. Like... Some of the things that you don't recognize when you're just listening to yourself and 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 watching yourself is crazy. Have anyway. you ever done it? Yeah, I have. You've watched yourself, and I, I'd be like, I and you these. I, no, you like, become a pirate. Yes, I become, I'm watching myself. I, be, I'm I, a pirate I, be, now. I become, I I become a gypsy pirate. Anyway, uh, but gypsy pirate. Someone had said the other day that trying to their kid asked what a gypsy was, and they basically said, "Well, it's like a land pirate." It was those of me. But, mm. My wife's part gypsy. Is she? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Part gypsy. Well, uh, we can't uh, leave her alone in the house then. <laughs> well, the very nice people, I guess. They're just trying to survive like everybody else. Don't they steal? Just trying to survive like everybody else. <laughs> That's what the kid in Aladdin did. He was a gypsy? I mean, he stole things. Yeah. He was poor. He had to. But he was poor. He had to. He wasn't a gypsy. And I, I'm he sure was a street, he was a street to... urchin. That's what they called him. Street e- urchin. Everyone's trying to get by. Everyone's just trying to get by, do what they need to do. Yeah. So a b- special episode brings us all those questions we have Scar- for Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Today, after a year, wait. after a year and a month of asking fifty-four guests, no, wait, twenty guests. How many guests have we had? We've had a bunch. Okay. Uh, the, well, the those numbers right here. Right I thought. Here. To, I thought to myself. I thought to myself. We have not answered the questions that we've asked our guests, and it but is about have. time because. People we, have demanded that we answer the questions that we asked. Demanded. Who? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Arneal? Scott Arneal. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> you, will you please answer the question? <laughs> Tim. Let's, let's, so let's do it. Let's so do we're going to, we're going to ask Tim the questions that I would normally ask a guest yeah. and Tim's going to answer them for us today. Well, we're both going to do that. 
Oh, really? Yes. We're I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not prepared for it either. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay, let's start out. Who is Tim Sanderson? You know what? Okay, so so I'm going to preface this by that saying. That way I can think about why I'm asking. This is, is such a hard mm. question to yeah. answer. Every time I ask a guest this, I feel like, oh, this is. And, and you know, the funny thing is a couple of people actually, I think it was Drew Dudley who was prepared for it because he had said he was asked that question earlier in his life or whatever, a couple of years ago before. He wasn't prepared. He had no answer for it. Yeah. And he went back and he found an answer so that when we asked him that question, he, he knew. knew exactly what his response was. Who's Drew Dudley? Who is Drew Dudley? Uh, Drew Dudley is a work in progress. And basically, if you want to talk about who I am in terms of what keeps me busy every day, I am an author and a speaker. And what I try to do is take a perspective on leadership that I developed at the University of Toronto and spread it as far and wide as I possibly can. It was developed based on, I was really inspired by some students who weren't giving themselves the credit they deserved as terms of leaders in the world. And I turned into somebody who, I guess if you want to put it down simply, Drew Dudley is a storyteller. And what I've tried to do is because the story is the basic unit of human understanding, what I try to do is take ideas that I believe are important and wrap them in Velcro so they stick. Because I don't want to ever claim that any of the stuff that I say is completely original and no one's ever thought or no one's ever said it before. But I think our job as speakers and people who are trying to convey ideas, people who traffic in ideas, it's our job to take things that other people know already, wrap them in Velcro so it sticks. And ultimately, that's basically what I try to do is take good ideas, wrap them up in Velcro so you remember them and share them with other people. So I'm uh, my buddy uh, Blake used the term professional sentimentalist, <laughs> and I kind of liked it, to be completely honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it is such a hard question, I think. And, so I, let's, and, let's, and I and let's I'm preface it right now. And I'm throwing the myself the question again yeah, yeah. is who is who Tim is Sanderson? Tim Sanderson? Uh, and and I think that most people, and I'm going to throw myself in this group, most people live their whole life not knowing exactly exactly who they are, and I struggle with that question: who I am. Okay. Uh, I can tell you aspects of myself. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a hard worker. I have integrity. I'm honest. Those are the, if you want to talk about the positive, and of course, everyone has positives and negatives about themselves. We always just portray our positives, yeah. right? But those are some of the things that I would say define me as a person. Yeah. Right. But I, I have thought to myself long and hard since, and this, this question that we asked people it really made me think. Yeah who I am. And some days- Did day, you prepare some days, a different answer? No, some days I oh. don't, some days are different. Not every day is different. Some days I don't know who I am. No? What I am. No. I struggle with that question. You struggle with I, your identity? I, I think sometimes, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, I do. And I'm just being transparent and honest. Who do you identify that. as? <laughs> what do I identify as? Well, I know the, I know you, you belong to certain <laughs> groups of people, so you can throw things out like, yeah. like I'm indigenous. Uh, I'm a father. I'm a Christian. Those are all obvious I, things. Those are obvious things, right? Yeah. Those are things that- But I, some I'm of our Eric. best answers from our guests yeah. have been answers that are heartfelt and deep. Right. Like, not just, I am a white male working. Yes. You know? So, like, yeah. And we're all, we're all evolving. I'm okay. trying to, I'm trying to become, become. It's it's a process, right? Yeah. I am, you know, nearing my fiftieth year of life, and I think I am just learning some of these things, yeah. right? Um, but those things that I said, I I I value certain things, yeah. Like I say, honesty, integrity, uh, responsibility, okay, you know, and in those aspects of who I am, yeah, and what my what what what, what those groups that I belong to. So, uh, are we going to keep going on myself, or are we going to? Am I going to throw the question right back? Totally up to you. Okay, who is Greg Stewart? Greg Stewart. Greg Stewart. So, it's going to start with something you don't know about me, but we'll do that next. I am somebody who I view as a survivor. I view myself as somebody who is continually 
fighting to create an identity that is worthy of myself. So I am somebody who is a survivor who I feel has lived multiple lives in the short amount of years that I've lived so far, because I'm younger than you. <laughs> True. And I honestly think that my journey in myself is evolved and I am a father of four that loves my kids, enjoys family life, and I am an introvert with extroverted tendencies that is continually working on my faith and my ability to be better as a person. Okay. That's Greg. Uh, can you tell me? <laughs> I love how your uh, segment's uh, eight minutes and mine's 35 seconds. No, but that's okay. That's okay. Our yeah. answers are our answers. Yeah. Can't be judged. Uh, you got a seven out of 10. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you got four. <laughs> out of five. The... <laughs> out of three. Four out of three. Uh, tell me something that we don't know. And I'm talking slowly because I got to think about the same thing coming back at me. Yeah. About Greg Stewart. Funny thing is, this segment was bred out of a segment called Something You Don't Know About Tim. Yeah. Time for the segment. Something You Don't Know About Tim. Do go on. Tell us more. And we just took that segment yeah. into our guests. Yeah. And said, well, tell us something we don't know about you yeah. without. And here's the thing. That question. Yeah. Who is and something you don't know are the only two questions that we give to our guests. Those are the only two questions that our guests know they're going to get asked. Other than that, they what come about, in here cold. What about the one? Oh, that they, we we tell them beforehand. Okay. Yes. We email them two questions. Right. We're going to break the ice with two questions. Yeah. Who is? Yeah. And something we don't know about you. Right. If you want to prepare for that, prepare for that. Right. If you don't, yeah. wing it. That's true. We can tell the guests that have prepared for it. And we can yeah. tell the guests that have not prepared for it. Yeah. And that's fine. That's their personality. And that's the test. Something you don't know about me, though, is that I used to fix airplanes. And I used to actually take apart engines off of airplanes, put them back together, put them onto airplanes. And then one time I actually had to go on a test flight after putting the engine together and putting it onto the airplane. That was the scariest flight I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> where, where was that? Here in Winnipeg. Okay. Yeah. So I worked for a small uh, airline here in Winnipeg where I fixed airplanes i did that for i believe eight months total right uh i went to school for that i took school at tech Boc, uh which was at the time it was called the aerospace maintenance and manufacturing orientation program amop was what they called it tech Boc used to be I, called that no that's oh, the program the pro that I okay yeah. and then after that i took gtro gas turbine repair and overhaul at red river took that and then from there i got hired and did that for a little bit. And that's something you don't know about me. A lot of people don't know that about me. Right. Yeah. So let me oh. let me hear something I don't know about Tim for the first time ever. The problem is we did this segment for the first so how like many three episodes? No, episodes? it was it was more than I that. I think it was three or four episodes. No, so I've laid down about twelve or thirteen things you don't no, know. No, it me. was not that many. No, it, it was. You can go back and check, but anyway. It was. Uh and so I can't. I'm having a hard time if I repeat something. Again, this is your episode idea. No, no, I'm, and you don't have anything <laughs> prepared. No, I'm telling. I'm telling you, I have something. But okay. I, in the back of my mind, did I tell him? Already? Did I already tell this? This about I myself? I hope it's that you're a history major. No, no, it's okay. not that I'm a history. Which, I, which, by the which way, is one of our most viewed shorts of all time. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Um, did I tell the story about when I was a, a wee little lad and, uh, and I, w I sang in a, in a, in a children's choir? You know, it's funny. Even if you told that story, I don't remember. So, and B, nobody listened to it. So, <laughs> so let's hear it. So, uh, I sang in the Winnipeg Mennonite children's choir when I was a Lee, a wee young lad. Yeah. And uh, actually, your sang, name was Lee at the time. I, I, I sang, uh, Stacey Natchez was in the choir at the same oh. time. She was taller than me and older than me. 
Uh, or was she? I think she was. She was. She was and more female. Yeah, she was more female. And uh, my voice was. Sorry, I'm. Uh, my I'm, voice was still up here, and then, and then one year in the summer, I went, and then I said, "Hello, choir director. I can't sing in the choir because uh, my voice is not high." And all the songs were high, and I couldn't sing, so I dropped you had to quit out of choir. The, I, I quit the 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 children's choir. Yeah. So, and, but that one, one summer, my voice just. What was the children's choir called? Winnipeg Mennonite Children's Choir. Directed WMCC. by... WMCC. Yeah, uh, directed by Mrs. Litz, who has since passed. Aww. Uh, she passed actually uh, beginning of COVID. Hmm. So, uh, wonderful lady. And it was... A, we went to... Uh, it was the first time we went to Halifax was singing uh, to the East Coast was when we were doing a concert tour. Yeah. So, we went to Halifax, St. John's, New, uh, Newfoundland, uh, New Brunswick, all those places. And Miss Litz. Miss Litz. Mrs. Litz. <laughs> Mrs. Litz. Mrs. Litz. So, um, yeah. I it did not hear wonderful. that story before, yeah. that you got kicked out of the boys' I choir. I did not get, it was, it was a co-ed choir, first of all. <laughs> was it not boys' choir? Uh, I, always, I always remember. See, here's the thing. The difference between me and you yeah. is you tell me something you I don't know about you. Yeah. And I proceed to talk about it yeah. and show interest. Yeah. And I tell you something you don't know about me, and you proceed to move on to the next subject. You just finished saying it wouldn't matter what I said, you will have forgotten it. Yeah. That's what you said. And now you're saying, I don't take what you say seriously? Yeah. But you just said you forget everything I say. Yeah, but I show Which interest. you do. Oh, so you feign interest. You feign interest. interest. No, you feign. During the episode. Feign interest. You, you pretend like you actually care, and you no. don't. I, after if you you're did, done, you remember. After you're done your story, I will say, and this is something I'll say things to you. I, I don't remember you saying it. I just said that last. Uh, after your story, <laughs> I will show interest and continue you, on with it. I after will, my story, I will I remember. I'll remember that you I, fixed. I, 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 I tell you who is Greg Stewart. Okay, let's move on to the next <laughs> subject. Uh, what's something we don't know about, Greg? And I, I tell you, and you're like, well, do I you want to know something you don't know about me. I remember this that. Was a subject. I remember, I remember that you remember. fixed sailboats. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, let's move on to the next question. Uh, really? Yeah. What was the next question? <laughs> the next question was: uh, Was there one before? What would you tell your younger self? A, a piece yeah. of advice. The advice one is the last question we ask in every episode. No, but was there something before that? Yeah, there's say? two other questions before well, that. Then remind me. Uh, your top favorite places okay, let's go in to that. Manitoba. Let's go to that one. And a uh, person dead or alive that you would love okay. to have. Top three places. Uh, do you want me to go first or do you, are you going to go first? You can go first this time. Yeah? Yeah, we'll see how much interest I show. <laughs> Fain. Fain. <laughs> show. I show interest. Fain. We'll watch this back later and you'll see. <laughs> uh, well, number, then again, you didn't watch the last episode, number, so who uh, knows if you'll watch this number, one. <laughs> number one. I watched it. You sent it to me at Saturday at like 8 o'clock. I'm watching a movie. In the morning. Or Sunday, Sunday. Sunday at 8 in the Sunday morning. Sunday 8 in the evening. In the evening. It was way earlier. I was like night. watching a movie. I was watching Wolf. Wolves. 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 Is it Wolves? It's Wolves yeah. with an F. Anyway, uh, George Clooney, who is my... Remember when WWF became WWE? <laughs> and it killed it? Yeah. No. So WWF was being sued by the WWF, which was World, World Wildlife Fund. Yeah. And then dub they changed to WWE, and their slogan was, we got the F out. <laughs> Have you ever seen an F this big? World Wrestling Entertainment. Get the F out. Thanks. I, I needed that. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot that. I totally forgot that. <laughs> WWE, we got the F out. <laughs> Oh, anyways, tell Number, me your top three, and these are going to be uh, in order from descending order, from uh, best to worst, from from the from the 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 last, and my favorite one is going to be number one, okay, which is a surprise, which you're going to find lame, okay, yeah, which is I'll feign interest. But it's my happy face. It's my happy place. I'll get I'll get Scott Arneal to show his interest. <laughs> number three, uh, Clear Lake, Manitoba. Oh, um, specifically, we have a chalet in Elkhorn Resort, which uh, we're going to go to later on this month. But is it uh, chalet or chalet? A chalet, okay. and uh, but I like Clear Lake. Uh, it's a nice, quiet place out there, and we always go when it's quiet. October is not very full. You love escaping. Uh, and number two, 
Uh, I'm going to have a tie between the Bombers and Jets going to the stadium and the arena. Not the arena, but... Uh, so sporting events in Winnipeg. Yeah, sporting is events number is number two. Both are tied. So what's uh, your favorite part of a sporting event in Winnipeg? Uh, just when the, the crowd, when you have a full crowd and they're into it and the Jets are doing well, uh, which is why... What was uh, the last Bomber game you went to? Uh, last year. Perfect. I haven't been to this year. I, I fully admit I have not gone to many sporting events in the last couple of years. You have gone to lots of sporting <laughs> events. You didn't say it properly. I have not gone to a lot of sporting events <laughs> Locally. in Winnipeg. Locally, yeah. I have done a lot. And it's too bad because you you are missing out on a great bomb I, season. I, I just didn't give you any free tickets this I, year. I will ad- last I, year I gave you so two games. I, I fully admit that everything that happened during COVID kind of shut me off. So. Uh, it's a I, local sports. It's a local sports. And I just haven't gotten back into the habit of going. Yeah. Uh, and when the team loses, it's like, eh. Whatever. But the Bombers have been winning. They have. Well, they're doing <laughs> and great. the Jets seven, have been making seven the playoffs. Straight, uh, seven straight wins for the Bombers, which is awesome. So, Well, uh, that's at time of is, recording, yeah. which is like a long time ago now. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> they've won a few games in a row at the time of recording. Yeah. Number uh, two. No, number, number one. one. This uh, is your favorite place to go. Is uh, is Thermea? Yeah, yeah. Number and you know what I had. A, so I, if you don't know what Thermea is, it's a outdoor spa in Winnipeg. Yeah. It's one of three, I believe, in Canada. What, what, four now, it, I think. What, four what, now. One of uh, three from that company. There's other Nordic spas, yeah. but uh, whatever that company is called, that, Nordic Spa is what it's called. No, Nordic Spa is a type of spa. Um, the company itself is called something else. But uh, like, there's like we went to a Nordic spa in uh, Nova Scotia. And it's we'll not show the, same the bottom here what company it is. Yeah. So uh, anyway, and you know what? I forgot I had a fourth one. Um, my happy place is uh, McDonald's coffee. Sitting at McDonald's having coffee. <laughs> well, that can be done anywhere. No, McDonald's. They make no. Oh, it can be done coffee. anywhere in the world. That's true. That's true. So that's why it's not in the top three. So those are my top three. Uh, four. Four. You got four. Four. Okay. Four. You got to say four. Okay. Those are four. How that many do means, I get? That means you have to have at least four. Do I know number one? Yep. Or number four? I would like to know number two. No. <laughs> okay. No, no, just so, give it to me whatever order. So uh, not in any specific order, but I'm going to give you first, I'm going to start with a restaurant. Okay. This restaurant is one that I discovered probably like four years ago, three years ago now. And ever since discovering it, I want to replicate the dish that they make. And you can't have it because you're allergic to carbs. But it's called the Fet Chile okay. at Cafe Carlo. Cafe Carlo, which is a very good restaurant. Cafe but... Carlo, such a great. I'm sure. I'm sure that it's not underrated because I think everybody I tell that has been there knows. There's how lots of people it who is. still don't know where it is, but it's a, a small, yeah. very small restaurant. It's a very small restaurant. Well, I like it, but it's popular it. amongst the people that go to it and have been to it. Yeah. So I am wrecking the opportunity for me to get a reservation now. Because if people listen to our podcast and say, I want to go to Cafe Carlo because Greg says it has the best food called the Fet Chile. And you go to get that Fet Chile, make sure that you're you're going, you're getting the Fet Chile. But as an appetizer, yep. get the fried chicken. As an appetizer, get the fried chicken. There's a fried chicken appetizer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a couple of pieces of fried chicken. It's got like this buttermilk <laughs> fried chicken... No, it is an appetizer. I know. I'm just imagining talking to a third world person from a third world country. Before we have our real food, we have fried chicken and sides. <laughs> what? But the <laughs> the fried chicken is so good. And they give you bread as an appetizer too. Well, yeah, free. of course. But the bread, I believe the bread always has a different butter. Right. Like a different flavor butter yeah. to it. And oh my goodness, now I'm like literally <laughs> like I can't I'm choking on my own spit. I'm yeah. drooling so much. Yeah. And so, there's a picture of the dish right here. A Cafe Carlo. <laughs> okay. And and by the way, just you all you have to do is make sure you reserve your table like a week in advance. Yeah, yeah. You just go on just, uh, don't try, you just, just don't go on open. booking it two days in advance for a Saturday you, book. You, and they're closed on Sunday, Monday. Yeah. Uh it's just close Sunday. Yeah, and Monday. Oh. Uh just go to open table, you can book it on there. Yeah. Um number two is um, going to be one that I like more so for the atmosphere, not really for the service. 
When I tell you where, you'll understand if you've been there. Hecla Resort. Lakeview Resort in Hecla. We were there once. I think we were there once. Very nice. So I love the trail to the lighthouse. I love the like the pool area for the kids is awesome with the water slide. It has the, the best part about this place, unlike Elkhorn, where you stay, in Hecla, the pools are separated. Right. So on one side is the kids' pool with the water slide and all the kids' fun stuff, yep. super loud, still a hot tub in there, and a little tiny lazy river. On the other side is an adults-only spa-like yeah. area. It's like the naked, the naked side. The naked side. And in the adults-only side, they have a hot tub, which is a giant hot tub. They have a cold and sorry, a warm tub, which is a giant warm tub. They have a hot tub, which could fit like four people into it. They have a cold plunge and then they have a indoor outdoor pool that you could swim from indoors to outdoors and then swim back in from outdoors to indoors because it goes both ways. Yep. I really like that place for the kids because it's the ability for them to have fun yep. and it's great when you go with like couples and stuff because you know the the guys can stay with the kids the women can go to the adult side the women can stay with the kids the guys can go to the adult side and it is licensed for anybody that likes to partake in those kind of libations alcoholic beverages uh it is licensed on the adult side so they do serve alcohol on the adult side that's a yeah so that's number two okay number two but I'm going to preface that by saying that, sorry, the service isn't bad there. Like, the food is good. The restaurant actually was much better the last time I went there. Maybe because it's not COVID now, it's become yeah, that, better. Yeah, that did affect the service by the amount of employees that were available to do things. Yeah. And the choice of which kind of employees the you have. The other benefit to Hecla that most people don't know is that the employees actually live on site. So the employees actually have accommodations on site that right. the owner <laughs> has in place. There you go. So it's very good that way. Uh, so I really like Hecla. Um, my third, do I get four or do I only get three? Well, you, I took four so you can have four too. Oh, is that how Or you could just do three. I just, I threw that in there out of my own volition. Okay, so I'm going to do two more. Okay. One mm -hmm. more activity and one more restaurant. Yeah. Um, the extra activity is Activate Sports. Um, Avery, Martin Avery Martin yep. from Big Brother talked about it. I second that motion. Activate Sports is such a fun place to go to with adults. Yeah. Like with kids, it might be fun too, but when you go with people that are your age and you're competing and you're playing a wear shorts and something you can sweat in b wear runners c don't do the laser one because your knees will get all burnt up on the i can never flooring. The pattern stuff just messes with me anything like i just give up i just so the sit, whole place i, I sit the, no because i'm shooting basketball i'm i'm sh uh, you know sniping those things with a gun no There's problem no gun. Yeah, there's a, there's a gun. You, there's one that you snipe things with the with the gun. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there is. There is. Don't tell me I'm, I'm wrong. I, I'm, I not, I'm not I going not crazy. Remember a but the things one. that you got to do the pattern thing, I just sit there and let you do it. I just I can't do it. I do not remember a sniper one. <laughs> anyway, sure. that's my second my second thing. My third <laughs> my my second restaurant. So Cafe Carlo, Hecla, which is restaurant activities, Activate, which is just activities. My last restaurant is one that is very near and dear to my heart. It is the restaurant where I had my first date with my wife, and it is called Suko Thai. Oh, Suko Thai. Yes. On Osborne. Amazing Thai food. Ask for the sticky rice. And we get the pad puck. We get the um, microb, and we get the pad thai. Right. Those are the three meals that... Every time we go, Lorraine's like, let's try something new. And every time we go, I get one of those three. And she'll get one of those three. She gets something bland. Bland. <laughs> she sent me a text the other day. I don't eat bland food. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, at least I do. Um, Have so, you, okay, a question for you. And those are three, four awesome places. Um, 
See, Thanks I'm, for reinforcing me. Well, I, I'm showing interest yeah. in the things that I totally forgot about already. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, have you tried other Thai places? Uh, yes. And you compared the two and you still think... Yeah, there's a Thai place on... Is it St. Anne's? That a friend got Thai food from and I didn't really like it, but they love it. It's the, it's the non-pronounceable name that starts with X, I think, right? Can't remember. Yeah, it's that one. There's a couple of Thai places. Uh, I just found a new pho place. Pho, P H O. Yeah. Um, so this is how it's spelt. I know. Gonna, some, some I'm of... going to have you pronounce yeah, it, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's spelled P H O. Pho. And then C U U. C U U. L O N G. Or sorry, L O N. Lung. Lon. Lon. Okay, so <laughs> no, pr- no, no, pronounce it. No. Fo. No. No. Q. <laughs> yeah. Long. Okay, say it faster. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's on St. Mary's. Okay. If anyone wants to go. <laughs> Fo. <laughs> Q long. Okay. <laughs> That's what it's called. Do I have to bleep that? I don't know. What's the name of the business? I guess. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's the name of the business. Is there some kind of joke behind it? I don't know, but I had food there and it was good. You can decide if you want. It was a it. big meal too. It was a salad. You would like it. Okay, let's get it. Now I want. I now I want to go have because it's a salad. Salad, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I like. For our meal, we have fried chicken and bread with a different type of butter. And then we have our meal, <laughs> which is carbs. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely feed myself. <laughs> Thanks for telling me your story. You're telling me you have. <laughs> That much water that you poop into Jim, it now? Jim, Jim <laughs> Have Gav- you seen that? Have you seen that meme where it's the kid that's like this, like like the thinking to the woman? He's like, yeah. You are telling me that you have enough water that you could just poop in it and flush it. <laughs> oh, if you funny. think about it, yeah. if you think about yeah. that, yeah. yeah, we poop into yeah. water yeah. and then flush it. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas so, some places <laughs> don't even have water. Like I'm not joking about this. That is yeah. extremely no, no, no. strange. Right, which is but the part of the same thing. Like, joke. why can't we just yeah. poop into a hole? Well, sanitary reasons, obviously. But that's what happened hundred years ago in our country, that's what we did. Or yeah. hundred and fifty years ago, whatever it is. So we're gonna change gears here. We're not gonna do the uh person dead or alive yet. Yeah. We're gonna do a little game I like to call This or That. Right? It's time for this, or that. Do we have different questions? No, I have them all. But are we just gonna, are we just gonna blurt? I came prepared. Okay. Did you come prepared? Maybe we'll see. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll ask the questions, and you yeah. say the answer, and I'll say my answer. Okay. Instagram or TikTok? Uh, Instagram, because I don't have my TikTok account. Instagram, because. It's easier to use than TikTok for me. Okay. Cheat meal or cheat day? A meal. Day. <laughs> Every. Every. <laughs> <laughs> My, what day is your cheat day? Week. Weekday. <laughs> Weekday. <laughs> it's the day that ends in Y. <laughs> uh, wings or ribs? Uh, wings. Wings. Although I haven't, I haven't, you know what, honestly, because I haven't done my cheat day in a long time, yeah. I haven't gone for wings. And that was like my, my two, my week. two favorite cheat meals, Let's do it next week. my two favorite cheat foods are hot wings and gelato. So Sh- shout out to Eva's gelato. Oh, it's so good. But so so this sure. video is coming out on October the 14th. Right. Thanksgiving day. Right. I'm out of, I'm out of town. I'm out of family gathering. Okay. Yeah. If you're watching though. Right now, mark your calendars. Right. Because on October 21st, right. we could be at the rec room having all you can eat wings. Because it's a Monday. It's a Monday. I, I can't I can't do and Monday cheese. I can't start my day with eating a bunch of breaded carbs. So Monday, October 21st, Tim ah. will be there. If you want to do a meet and greet with Tim and Greg. 21st. Greg I'm not, and Tim. I don't think I can do the 21st. Yeah. Okay. We're not there. Sorry, guys. If you showed up, if there was a meet, I and greet. apologize, okay. Matt Damon. If there was a meet and greet, and Matt Damon was there. Scarlett Johansson is okay. So here's the thing: stick to our Instagram, social media, 
one of the stories eventually we will say where we're going to go have wings yeah and if you show up and say i watched your story on the greg and tim show you're the first yeah. person to show up actually i like your idea we will buy them their wings i like your idea yeah i think it's a great idea yeah, yeah. i think it'll be fun yeah buzzer boomer uh boomer Boomer is right. Yeah. Huh? There's no right or wrong. This is opinion questions. No, we there always give. No right we always wrong. give an answer. <laughs> no, there's and no. We tell them if okay, right fine. Uh, family Guy or The Simpsons? A Family Guy. The Simpsons. Seth MacFarlane is so funny. The Simpsons has been around way longer, and it's just iconic. I watched the movie. Uh, You're uh, wrong. How the Hundred Ways to Die. How, in the yeah, West how I Met Your Mother. No, how the Hundred Ways or some whatever to, to die in the West with Seth MacFarlane it was a real like he plays himself. Yeah, it's really, he's funny. Yeah, he's really funny. He's got he's how funny my, is he? That's my sense of humor. Is he super funny? I find him, and it's not everybody does, but I find him super funny. Tim, Starbucks, or McDonald's for coffee. Yeah. Co well, well, let me preface this. Let me do the Tim. Yeah. Coffee only. Tim's, Starbucks, McDonald's. I'll tell you the order. Number one, McDonald's. Number two, Tim Hortons. And uh, Starbucks, number three. Really? A Starbucks, very number distance. three. I told you. I like, Even though I like, you waited 25 like minutes at the sugar, Starbucks. Sugar free. Sugar free. I like Thompson. one thing at Starbucks. Video games or Netflix? Uh, Netflix. Because I don't play video games. <laughs> yeah, Netflix. M mine is Netflix. Oh, by the way, mine would be uh, Tim's for the coffee. Okay. Um, working, if you had only one choice, yeah. you could either work out or eat healthy. Eat healthy. Really? Oh, yeah. I eight, would rather eight, work out. 80% of your weight control is your through the fork. I would not, rather not work out. Not your feet. Uh, Rom-com or action movie? Rom-com action movie i love rom-coms i am the king of rom-coms i don't care you can take my man card away love romantic comedies i take it away if Give it was me, already no, no, don't that's not, not very nice <laughs> I, would, I, I would take your man card away uh, if, if you I had, had one yeah, okay that's be nice <laughs> be nice staycation what, what, or you didn't i said it. action movies okay staycation or action or city adventure oh city adventure really yeah, I, love I, I go everywhere and do stuff. So um, I don't know if this qualifies as a staycation, but we used to go to a place, um, something, some place, just Bel something, Bel Air. Is it Bel Air? It's a Bel Air. No, Bel Air. Oh, Manitoba. yes, yes, yes. The Bel cabin. Yeah. Yep. And we used to go there and we literally just watch movies and they had hot tubs inside their cabins. Right. So we'd sit in the hot tub, watch a movie, we'd get out of the hot tub, sit on the couch, watch some movies, get in the hot tub, watch a movie, you, go make some food, and go back in the hot tub. <laughs> do, 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 you, you remind me of a story and that does sound like pretty nice, really. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, so when we went for our honeymoon in uh, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, Minnesota, we went for, and the first couple of nights we, st we stayed there for like a week and a half, two weeks or whatever. Um, yep. and, uh, first night we spent, uh, I, I, there was a Candlewood Suites that was like 25 bucks a night. I thought, this, this must be a horrible place to stay. So I bypassed it and yep. early days of, you know, dial up internet to book things. Yep. So I booked like the, a really, really fancy place for like 200 bucks a night. But after like three or four nights, uh, the, the, the rate jumped and I was like, ah, we'll try, we'll, we'll switch hotels and we'll go to this Candlewood Suites. It was awesome. Candlewood Suites is good. Yeah, and it was like twenty five bucks. And I was like, "Why did we start stay here from the beginning?" All we did, my wife had not. I would say, "Have you ever seen Indiana Jones? Have you ever seen Back to the Future?" And she didn't have a TV growing up for most of yeah, her, mine. Her, whatever. And so all we did for the last, I want to say five, six, seven days of our honeymoon was watch old movies and just chill out and other things. So, <laughs> chocolate or chips. Uh, cho oh, chocolate. Yeah, I would go chocolate too. Yeah. Um, I love chocolate. Basketball too. or football? Uh, to play or to watch? watch. Football. Football for me too. Okay. Um, watching football, CFL or NFL? Uh, honestly, CFL. Yeah, I really, really love the CFL watching it. Um, I think it's underrated. And I think Americans just don't understand the difference in the rules to yeah. appreciate the skill of the game. Yeah, uh, I mean, it can be sloppy, but I don't know. But Watch. the rules are different because yeah. of the motion and because of the yeah, running. The game itself, I find, is more entertaining uh, for that from that standpoint. 
Um, sporting events or live concerts? Uh, concerts, because you never lose at a concert. Yeah, we talked about that on one of our episodes. Yeah. I don't remember which episode it was. So it's if you're watching seven. right now, uh, go back and start at the beginning. <laughs> that was it. Rewind sound. Uh, and then watch all the episodes and let us know which episode that was in. Superhero ability, uh, invisibility, or being able to fly? Fly. I think our guest, uh, this one would have been Abby Khan. Right. Also picked fly, I think. Yeah. I pick invisibility. But obscure, why do I want to be obscure other than if something's a dangerous situation? And then I could just fly away anyway. How many sporting events could you get into with invisibility? If you can fly, you're getting into, I guess. Maybe they'll see you come in. I guess they'll shoot you down too, maybe. Yeah. Um, flying you can get cool. into every sporting event, every concert. If you're invisible. But you got to stand the whole time. No, you don't. No? How many concerts? Oh, well, there's empty seats. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> can you imagine sitting in a seat invisible and somebody sits on your lap? Oh, what was that? <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, travel back in time 100 years or to the future 100 years? Back in time 100 years, yep. We're back to the beginning here. Uh, iPhone or Android? Well, Android. And iPhone, iPhone is correct. Up. iPhone is the correct answer. Agree to answer. disagree. Um, and then the final question, Friends or Seinfeld? Ooh, Seinfeld. That is correct. Seinfeld is the correct answer. Ding, ding, ding. You okay. got 50% of them right. Greg, I'm going to ask you the final question we ask every one of our guests. Greg. The final two questions, yes. Uh, if you were going to give yourself 12-year-old Greg. No, no. That's not the question we're asking yet. No? No. You've forgotten one. What is that one? See, this is why that that's the question I get to ask okay. at the end. Yeah. The last question you get to ask is a person. Oh yes, sorry. Uh, we could have just we could have switched places. We could have done this first and the other one the second. Well, but the no. advice part's better. Okay. Uh, person, one person, one person, dead or alive, dead or alive, that you can have a twenty-minute conversation with. Yeah. Go. Uh, I would like to talk to John C. Maxwell. He the author. He's a leadership uh, guy. Really, really like him. And he has a book. He's got lots of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I have a lot of people that I would love to speak to, but I think one that would be like very interesting because of the history of it would be John F. Kennedy. And now that you said that, I can I can nope. I have a second? Oh. Abe? I want to do Abe. Abe? Honest Abe? Yeah, that's Abe. We want to pick presidents that I'll, I'll, shot. I'll, 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 I'll stick with, uh, yeah, Ronald Reagan. He wasn't shot. No, I'm just kidding. Ronald he, Reagan he was, was shot. Was, I, know, I know. And so was Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, he was shot. Yeah. Oh, like, talking to Donald Trump, Yeah. as much as, like, he's a controversial figure, yeah. it would be super interesting right. to sit down and have a 30-minute conversation with him right. when he was... 20 years younger. Right. Like apprentice Donald Trump. You know what I mean? Like the Donald Trump that was on top of the world. Yeah. The Donald Trump that can go on the view and not get told he was a racist. The Donald Trump who was hiring people and firing people on television. 20 year old, 20 year old, younger Donald Trump. Yeah. He would be such a great interview to talk to. I wouldn't even mind 40 years ago Donald Trump when he was building skyscrapers and making deals with uh, racketeers to build them. But anyway. I'm surprised you didn't pick a mafia guy to talk to. It's scary. A little scary. Interesting, but scary. 30 minutes. You only have 30 minutes. Dead or alive. Yeah. Any mafia guy. Any mafia guy? Yeah. Uh, I would say Lucky Luciano. Oh, really? Yeah. I would say... The guy that killed Jimmy Hoffa. We don't know yet who but that, that is. But that way I would know. Yeah. 
It's funny because Michael Francis, who I referenced quite a bit, who I follow, yeah. who's still alive, and I've told the story. Who uh, we're still trying to get on the show. Yeah, I'd love to get him on the show too. Yeah. Uh, but he he was very close to the whole situation, and uh, him and a couple other mafia guys who are still alive and doing podcasts, they like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we know who it is. But they don't know either. Like they didn't. Or someone, where? someone didn't have. So, someone didn't say, "Hey," because them in the mafia. I think the you, main question you is, off where somebody, is he? You off somebody? You don't say, "Hey, I'm I'm spreading it away." You you, you disavow everything after it's done. And you paint yeah, houses. And you paint houses, right? So yeah, he he has an idea from what he was told, but he doesn't know. So this is a question that we ask every guest at the end of the episode, and yeah. this is means we're getting to the end of the episode. Yeah, Tim. What is one piece of advice you would give a 12-year-old self? A 12-year-old Tim Timothy Paul Sanders. TPS. TPS. The report himself. I would tell myself to gain more knowledge specifically in the in the area of money management. And I talked about this with uh, when we had Adam Bighill on, who yeah. is also a financial advisor, who's my financial advisor, who does so, a great job. Uh, just to get a better head start when I was younger for dealing with money. So the question is, what advice would you give a 12 year old self? Am I physically going back in time to give this advice? Would you like to? No, I'm just asking. Am I you, giving yeah, the you advice? Have you have to. Am I giving the advice as if like I'm alive during that time? Or am I giving the advice like just going I'm going back, back in time? In You're time going back in to time. Tell them You're something. going back in time. I'm going back in time. It's like okay, yeah. I would tell twelve-year-old Greg, yeah, that the Jays are going to win the World Series in 1992 and 1993, and to tell your dad, yeah, to put all his money <laughs> that he owns on yeah. the Jays, right, at that moment. Yeah. And then at the start of the second season, yeah. let it ride. Yeah. Obviously, that would be if I went back in time. Yeah. Now, if I was telling 12-year-old Greg some advice yeah. on life itself, yeah. Yeah. and I'm surprised none of our guests have asked that question. Like, oh, like, am I going back in time or not? Like, I, like that's the first thing I think about right. when you ask that question. Um, if I was to tell 12-year-old Greg some advice, I would tell him, Today is just one day of your life. When you look at the big picture, you're only 12 right now. Everything's going to seem big. Everything's going to seem like it's overwhelming. And everything's going to seem like it matters. None of the stuff that you do in the next six years, other than going to school yeah. and learning and doing that stuff, None of the stuff that you do, friendships, all those kinds of things, are going to matter to you when you're 44 years old. What I want you to do is remember that enjoy life, be happy, and don't let the small things bother you. You know what we have, and that's fantastic advice. That's awesome. And it makes sense coming from older you. But I wonder if you flip the question – Yep. If older you said that to younger you, what would younger you say back? Why is your beard so gray? <laughs> and I, what possessed you to I grow think, a beard? I think younger Tim. I'm not. I'm trying to think of how I would make younger Tim do what I'm saying because younger Tim would be like, eh. <laughs> it really would. It really, honestly, yeah. would. Yeah. So would would younger Greg think, back, think, think back when you're twelve? No, no, I know, but I think that that's the reason we get these pieces of advice. Yeah, like we we get this advice when we're kids. Yeah, I tell my son like, hey, like you know, enjoy hockey, yeah. and, like play it like you're just having fun. Yeah, don't go out there because you just want to win. Like just go out there, have fun, realize that these the, the my one of my favorite quotes from the office is, I wish I knew we were in the good old days. Yeah. When we were in them. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Someone should write a song about that. Yeah. And I treat like every day like they're the good old days now. So like when I'm on vacation, it's honestly like we went on that trip to Chicago. Yeah. 
you wouldn't know this because I don't say it out loud, but I honestly am literally soaking up every moment, which makes it hard for me to sleep at night. Right. Because I'm like, it's going to end. I know that, I know that it's going to be a faster to the end than it is to go again. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you're like, trying to appreciate the moment. It, I was standing yeah. in center field at Field of Dreams with you. Yeah. And I'm literally just like, I can't believe it. Yeah. How am I going to remember that? How am I going to feel this moment for as long as I can? Yeah. And that's how I think about it. Does that make sense? Well, for sure. When you're in the moment, I get, I get, I get exactly. That's like, that's like an advice that I give to crews. Like you're playing hockey right now. This is going to be, when you look back at it, when you're 40 years old, you're going to look back and go, man, carefree, hockey, Dad and mom drove me everywhere. Enjoy it, yeah. They paid for it. But everything. what happens when you're young? You just want to get older. You want to be an adult. For some exactly. reason. Don't every, be in a rush to grow yeah, up. Don't Watch be in the a movie rush. Big. Yeah. yeah. A great movie. Yeah. Great movie. Tom Hanks. Almost as good as Bull Durham, which you got to watch the rest of. I still haven't seen, but anyway, I've seen Big. That's but, a great answer. I really, really like that answer. So, yeah. Anyways, those are my advice. So if you were to give one piece of advice to younger self, put it in the comments below and let younger self no, because there are younger people that will watch this yeah. show episode and Maybe. they'll be Possibly. listening and stuff like that. Tim didn't say any swears this episode, so we're well, you did, but you beeped it out. That was a restaurant, okay? Whatever you say. And, and if you have anybody has a time machine that we can actually go back to put that money on the 92 93 J's, that's correct. Uh, email Greg at no, uh, that's not my email. No, <laughs> no it's Greg and Tim show oh, at gmail.com. At gmail. <laughs> <laughs> Greg and Tim show at gmail.com. Do you remember 92 um, when they won that first World Series? They started like 12 and 24. Remember that? No. They, they started like 12 Can you games imagine kind of telling your younger self yeah. to put all of your life savings yeah. on, that, on that team? Yeah. When they were twelve and, and twenty, and then after thirty six, yeah, it was games, like it was like Bobby Cox no, was after the coach. Thirty six, no, Bobby Cox. Bobby Cox was not the coach. Cito Gaston was no. The coach. I'm telling you, they were they were twelve and twenty four under their old coach, Bobby Cox, no. or and Cito Gaston took over no. at that point. He was wrong. Hired. You're wrong. Right. You can Google. Bobby it. Cox was the coach of the Atlanta Braves after he got he got fired. No. Pretty sure the Braves went or to was the World it, Series was it, against what, the Twins. Bobby Cox. Uh, no, it was um, the other guy. Ah, uh, it's another guy. Sorry, you're right. But it was, but but Cito no. Gaston took over. No, yeah, he did. No, I'm ninety nine percent sure okay. that you're wrong. All right, well, we will. We will, if we Tim, will fact if check. Tim fact is check right. Yep. we're gonna put Tim's right here, and yep. if Tim's wrong, we're gonna put a big L on his forehead. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna Google it as soon as we're done. As soon okay. as we're off air. Thanks for watching the Greg and Tim show. Don't Have forget to like, subscribe, share, day. comment. We forgot to tell you that on the end of the last episode. Like, subscribe, I hope share, you know comment. That from now. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Like, like subscribe, share, share, comment. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Like, yeah. Okay. What he said. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Day, afternoon, morning, evening. Insert time here. Thanks for watching the Greg and Tim show podcast. Don't forget to like. Subscribe and share with all your friends. Sharing is caring.